Now back to Inside West Virginia Politics with Mark Curtis. And welcome back to Inside West Virginia Politics, where we are talking about various aspects of the coal industry this week. My co-anchor Adrian Robbins and reporter Hannah Getz traveled to the nation's capital this week for a look at what's being done about black lung disease. Adrian and Senator Joe Manchin will join us in a moment, but first, here's an overview from Hannah. Boone Memorial Hospital's Black Lung Center is just 16 months old, but they've already managed to help 1,000 coal miners fight for their lives. Big deep breath in. Great big, 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 big. Nice job. Okay, relax. <coughs> we have to get as many people as we can to stand up for the miners and, and say, you know, we've got to support these guys. Willie Cart says this is especially true with miners now being diagnosed with black lung disease at younger and younger ages. The miners now are having to drill into a lot of rock to get the coal. Mm -hmm. And so you have a lot more younger people getting black lung a lot earlier and a lot faster now. Mm -hmm. because of the rock dust are having to drill through. According to the National Institute of Occupational Health and Safety, black lung disease is at a record high in Kentucky, West Virginia, and Virginia. It's reached epidemic levels in coal communities across the nation. We've seen it in as low as uh, 30s. Really, 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 really bad uh, case. One of the gentlemen in his, in his early 30s, um, it, it was very surprising. The disease Disease is incurable, but comes with a chance to be compensated through federal grants now being challenged in the halls of Congress. A bill sitting in the U.S. Senate could remedy the situation. Last mine that you work for. Uh, I hope they have mine. Boone Memorial Hospital's Black yeah, Lung Center everything. offers oh. free help filing federal black lung applications. How many years altogether have you worked on, in the mines or on mining property? Uh, 38 years. For many of those who walk through the doors of the center, black lung is nothing That's new. Right. It's sad to see people well, I, actually just smothered death. Mm -hmm. The lungs quit. That overloaded your heart and everything. Many of these men's mining roots run almost as deep as the mines themselves. Yeah, my dad was a coal miner. Well, I probably started when I was 15 with my grandpa driving, driving the truck. And many worry their children will experience the same fate they now face. It's just a job and it's a livelihood. And uh, God said a man learn his uh, bread by the sweat of his brow, so that's how we done it here. Reporting in Washington, D.C. for Inside West Virginia Politics, I'm Hannah Getz. Mark, we're here on Capitol Hill with Senator Joe Manchin. Senator, thank you so much for being here with well, us. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. And obviously, you are not alone on Capitol Hill today. Yeah. Miners from West Virginia, Virginia, and Kentucky coming in. How was it to meet with some of these people? Well, they come in quite often to see me because we've been working for over three years now on the pensions, health care, and now black lung. And it seems like the administration keeps attacking the people they keep saying they want to help. And I'm just saying, listen, the coal miner is the soul of the earth, okay? They basically provided the energy that's kept this country free, and um, we all take for granted all the hard work and sacrifices have been done. Safety for coal miners first and foremost, as far as I'm concerned. But also, they're only asking for what they've worked for and paid for, which is pensions and their health care. For every ton of coal that was removed from the price of the coal, they didn't take that money home, they put it in that fund. It was completely uh, evaporated. And then on top of that, that didn't insult to injury, last year they cut the black lung fund, the money going in $1.10 for every ton of coal down to 55 cents. You would have assumed that they would have found a cure for black lung. That was the question. Says, do we have a cure? No, not at all. They just wanted to cut the fund. And I said, we got more people contracting at younger ages that's going to have more need for services than ever before, and you're cutting the amount of yeah. funds that we have and the ability to help them. It makes no sense at all. It was just callous what they did. Now, Republicans tell me that the fund will remain funded throughout next year. It just depends on who will ultimately pay for it. Do you think it's fair that this could end up being a burden on the taxpayers instead of the coal companies? Let me just say this. The coal miners have never asked for the taxpayers to pay for anything they receive. They've worked for it. They've negotiated. It was always there, okay? And the black lung was paid out of the coal that's mine. Why are they going to shift that now to the burden of the taxpayers when the coal that's mine? And it's never, we've been able to do this for years. All of a sudden, now we can't. I don't see why prices are higher now. They've been for a long time. 
Uh, it just doesn't make any sense to me at all to take the approach they've taken. Because if you're going to fix the black lung and find a cure for this disease and prevent people from contracting it, you're going to have to have the funds for research and development also for cure. If you're going to have pensions and health care, then you're going to have to basically make sure that the miners get in line first and not behind the bankruptcy courts that basically puts the financial institutions first. This is a never, uh, never ending revolving door and we've got to stop it sooner or later. We've got enough votes on the floor. If Mitch McConnell would just put it and let us vote, it will pass, and we will fix this problem for our miners. And you're obviously talking about the, the American Miners Act, American uh, miners Act which yes. covers not only the Black Loan Fund, but pensions and also health care with some of these companies that some are going Some companies recently just went bankrupt, and it's more than some about 1,200 miners. And we're, this covers them, because basically they've gotten caught in the same quagmire that we all got caught in. We're trying to prevent that from happening. We're trying to stop it. But you've got to cure what's already happened. People don't lose their health care. I mean, that's everything to them. They lose their pension. The average miner's pension is less than $600. And most of these are widows. The miners have passed on. This is their family left behind. That's a very small substance for them to be able to exist on. And take that away, and it's going to be very harmful to the families and all to the surrounding economy. I know the coal miners came to see you today. They also went to see other lawmakers mm -hmm. as well. Do you think they made a difference making the sure. trip here? It makes a difference every time they come. They're now having a round table we're having right this time. And that round table basically has people from West Virginia, Virginia, Kentucky, and Ohio. That's all the coal mining areas in our surrounding area. All right, Senator Manchin, thank you, thank you so much Appreciate for being it. here. We're going to have much more Inside West Virginia politics coming up next.